to our glory globe tv years to most amazing news yes space biology and life support maintenance were the main focus for the expedition 70 crew on tuesday january 9 the orbital residents abroad the international space station also studied future piloting techniques and fluid physics rounding out the research schedule nasa astronauts laurel o'hara and jasmine Mukbali joined commander and Rais Mogensen from ESA, European Space Agency for Biology Research, inside the Kibo Laboratory module. The trio worked during the morning in Kibo's life science glove box to learn how microgravity affects reproductive health and bone loss. In the afternoon, O'Hara removed the biomonitor vest and Head band she was wearing that are demonstrating the ability to comfortably monitor and record an astronaut's health data. Mogbelli inspected orbital plumbing gear in the orbital outports Roscosmos segments. Mogensen ended his shift reviewing procedures for photographing the moon illuminated by light reflected from Earth. Flight engineer Satoshi Furukawa from JAXA, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, spent its day primarily servicing life support hardware and science gear. Furukawa's main task took place inside the Columbus Laboratory module as he connected and disconnected internal thermal control components. Yeah, afterward, he removed a carbon dioxide incubator controller from inside the space automated bioproduct laboratory a life science and physics research specialty. Cosmonaut Nikolai Chop worked throughout Tuesday on a pair of different experiments for Roscosmos. Yeah, he first wore a cap filled with sensors that monitor his reactions as he practiced futuristic spacecraft and robotic piloting techniques on a computer. Next, he studied how liquids behave in microgravity conditions including temperature changes and electrical and magnetic fields. Veteran cosmonaut and five-time station resident Oleg Kononenko spent two day inspecting and photographing sections inside the Zeveza service module. Flight engineer Konstantin Borisov continued working on real batteries, then inspected and photographed structural elements inside the Nauka and Zarya models. The Sikna space freight tour completed its stay in space when it re-entered Earth's atmosphere at 22 past 1 pm EDT today for a fiery but safe distraction over the Pacific Ocean. Sikna's departed the orbital lab on December 22nd after four and a half months worth to the station's unity module, the private resupply ship from Northrop Grumman launched over 8,200 pounds of science and cargo to the Expedition 70 crew on August 1st from Wallops flight facility in Virginia. Amazing.